Right then everyone, welcome to Rangers Transfer Talk and this um, this is going to be a new series where I will go over all the Rangers transfer updates within the past few days. This video has actually been stalled for a while, um, I've meant to do it before but uh, I just never got around to doing it. So yeah, I'm going to go over the transfer window that has just passed. We've just had deadline day and it's been a bit boring at deadline day as well. But in this video I'll discuss the rumours as well as the outgoings and so on. So obviously Rangers have just signed uh, Juninho Bakuna, which in my opinion is a very good signing and will provide us uh, with a lot of quality and depth in the midfield. We have previously tried to sign him last year, we, where we offered Huddersfield a loan to buy deal uh, for him, similar to the one we got Zungu for, however that was rejected. But now we have signed the 24 year old and um, if you don't know he's a midfielder who likes to attack, having him for a good price, Lundstrom for free, Offerboard for free, Sakala for free, is amazing business by the club. The fee is undisclosed but it's said that Huddersfield have put some add-ons onto the deal. As I'm recording this actually, um, the terms have just been revealed as Bakuna joins on a two-year deal but uh, we did not pay any money up front as all Huddersfield will get from uh, Rangers is just appearance bonuses and sell-ons with uh, £2 million pounds in add-ons altogether. A fully fit Sakala will be Pacey, scoring uh, goals um, up top. He'll be the copper bullet, and Offerboy will become a beast when he's back and ready to play away from his heart issues. And we just need to give Lundstrom some time to settle, and I think he'll come good. On to the next story, Juan Alegria and Charlie McCann are the two players who've signed uh, for the Rangers B team, and they are class signings, Alegria being a young, hungry Colombian striker, and McCann being an utter class Irish midfielder. Uh, Allegria signed from Honka in Finland and McCann signed from Manchester United. Two Hibs players were linked with Rangers uh, on deadline day. Uh, the first one being Josh Doig who surfaced after Bona Barisic looked almost set to join Roma in a 14 million deal. However that's collapsed now um, but Hibs would have wanted around 3 to 4 million for their talented left back but I think we still need um, Borna for this season. Uh, but we could look back at Doig in the future. Uh, the other Hibs player is a player that we've been linked uh, with for a while, and it's Kevin Nisbet. We were linked with a late £4.5 million pound move uh, deadline day swoop for the striker, but it never happened. Staying in Scotland, well actually not in Scotland anymore, but our next the target would be Ali McCann, who has since signed for Preston in the championship for £1.2 million. Pounds but was previously heavily linked to the Rangers. He is a young Northern Irish midfielder who used to play for St Johnston. I think he would have been a good signing, but uh, it is what it is. Um, Rangers were linked with Troy Deeney uh, as well, as his agent had a picture outside of Ibrox on his Instagram, but Deeney has now since signed for Birmingham. Now, this one is just a rumour that annoys me now because we didn't sign him, and it's, uh, of course, Mohamed Bayo who was a very, very heavily linked with an Ibrox switch uh, on deadline day, uh, especially when he tweeted I emojis on Twitter. He would have been a loan signing uh, to buy with a £1 million loan fee, but we would later pay £5.5 million. Um, he's a big Guinean striker who plays for Claremont Foot. Uh, he is now set to sign a new deal with his club. What a signing he could have been. Mirko Ivanic is a player who was linked with Rangers. Recently, in a three million pound move, he is a 27-year-old Montenegrin midfielder, and he is an attacking midfielder. He currently plays for Serbia uh, and Red Star Belgrade in Serbia. Um, he has been linked uh, with a new contract uh, with his club, and since we signed um, Juninho Bakuna, I don't think this is uh, going to happen anymore. And there wasn't even much truth in the deal, anyways. Compared to other seasons. Uh, Rangers have been rather quiet in the window, but uh, the one that's you know been ongoing is with Joey Veerman. And now I don't think we have the money to sign him, and um, there wouldn't be space in the team for him, which is sad news. Jared has wanted to bring in a winger, and it was reported recently that Osai Samuel was close to a move, but for some reason um, nothing has surfaced recently relating to Rangers signing a winger. I think in January we're going to sign a winger though. On to the departures now and on deadline day two players left the club on loan, them being Katic and Itten. Both deals reportedly have clauses in them with an obligation to buy and a recall option. 
but uh, none of the sources suggesting this information are concrete. Uh, first I will discuss Itten and in my opinion when he played he was actually quite good and I think um, the only reason he left was to get more game time. Hopefully the the club who he has gone to, Growth of First, don't end up signing him but they might have the money to do so as they are in the Bundesliga. He can speak German so hopefully this season is just to get him minutes and to get him comfortable and then come back and smash it with Rangers. Moving on, Katic has been loaned out to Croatian outfit Hajduk Split and we have the option to recall him in case he doesn't play or he has fitness issues, uh, which is good in my opinion. Uh, there is no way in my mind that Katic will stay at Hajduk Split and I think uh, this season will just be to get minutes for Katic. Meanwhile, two players um, permanently left them being uh, Jordan Jones and uh, George Edmondson with uh, Jordan Jones uh, going to Wigan and uh, George Edmondson who went to Ipswich and personally I think both of them had to go to be honest. Edmondson left to Ipswich for uh, around 800k but the Jones fee isn't confirmed but is expected to be around 900k to 1 million pounds. We got rid of Murphy for free uh, to Hibs. Jamie Barjonis uh, to Kelty Hearts for free and we didn't keep uh, Greg Stewart as he became a free agent. We didn't keep Bongani Zungu either after his loan spell at Ibox. We loaned out Glenn Middleton to St Johnson. Again uh, we loaned out Jay Casty to Partick Thistle. We loaned out Ben Williamson to Livingston. We loaned uh, James Maxwell out to Ayr. We loaned Lewis Mayo to Partick Thistle. Uh, and James McPake went to Morecambe and finally Kai Kennedy went out to Dunfermline. Now there were some utter horrible rumours that uh, suggesting that Rangers youngster Nathan Patterson uh, was going to Everton in a £5 million transfer and then they apparently made another £8 million bid after the first one was rejected as Everton apparently made a big bid for our amazing talented young right back. He said actually that there's no truth in this deal, he hasn't received any information, um, to his knowledge the bid wasn't made. It's also been claimed that Liverpool have uh, joined the race for his signature as they will try to attempt um, to beat their Merseyside rivals to his signature. But to be honest, Patterson will probably stay with us as no team will offer the money and uh, the right money that Gerard wants for him. Borna Barisic was linked with a move to Roma after he almost made it clear he was leaving after he cried after beating Celtic, symbolising he was leaving Rangers. Roma were the team set to sign him, um, but they only inquired about him, not actually putting in a bid. Also, I think we'll see some loan departures um, in January. The likes of Robbie McCrory, Stephen Kelly might go out on loan, whilst in terms of players uh, departing permanently, I think Barker definitely has to go. He is nowhere near good enough for our squad. Um, there's been rumours uh, that clubs in England are interested in him too, but the reason why they don't want to sign him is because his wages are too much. I think Kelly should go out on loan in England to play a different style more suited to his game instead of the rough tough Scottish football. Robbie McCrory should go out on loan to a club in Scotland to get the experience uh, against teams in our league. And to be honest, I forgot Andy Firth and he should definitely leave the club, but I don't think many clubs will put in offers for him, so he'll probably just leave at the end of his contract. So that's it. Before I let you guys go, don't forget to like and subscribe for more quality content.